Hey everyone, it's Jensen with Go419. Now it is officially Punchki season, so I'm going to walk you through how you can make one of these delicious treats right from home. So to get started, let me just walk you through what ingredients we're going to be using today. All right, we need active dry yeast, warm milk, sugar, butter, one large egg, large egg yolk, brandy or rum, salt, flour, vegetable oil, confectioner sugar, and one cup of jam. So first you're gonna mix your active dry yeast in with your warm milk. That warm milk should be at about 110 degrees. Stir it all together and then set it aside. Next, we are going to get our sugar and our butter. We're gonna put it into our mixer using the paddle attachment and we're just gonna get that going until it gets to a nice creamy consistency. All right, now that that looks good, we're going to add in our eggs and brandy or rum, except I have neither and I wasn't going to buy a whole bottle just for a tablespoon. So I'm going to use triple sec and some salt. So we're gonna mix that all in now until that's incorporated. Okay, good enough for me. So now we are going to mix in our flour and our milk and yeast concoction. We're just gonna alternate those back and forth until it comes together. And then we're going to keep on mixing for about five or so minutes until everything gets nice and smooth and your dough will be nice and flat. So I finally got it to this nice stretchy, elastic -y texture that I'm looking for. So now I'm going to spray down a separate bowl. We're gonna dump the dough into there. We're going to cover it and then we are going to wait for an hour. Don't think about it, don't touch it, nothing. We're hopefully going to have it double in size. All right, our dough is proof. So now we get to have a little bit of fun and let out some of that pent up quarantine frustration. Now we're actually gonna punch the dough down a little bit and then we're going to let it proof again. So just get a couple good hits in there <laughs> to get some of the air out. So my dough has grown just a little bit more, so it's about time that we shape them into the punchkis. So we're going to sprinkle some flour right here on a clean work surface, and we're gonna roll it out until it's about a half inch or so thick. Then I just use a glass to cut out my circles. You should get about a dozen punchki out of this recipe. And now we prove it yet again for 30 minutes. But this is the last time, I promise. All right, it's the moment of truth and it's finally time to fry. So I'm going to dump my oil into the Dutch oven. We're gonna heat that up a bit and we're going to try to get it up to 350 degrees and stay there. Now put your dough into the oil just a couple at a time. You're going to cook for about two to three minutes each side until golden brown. All right, so now that they've cooled enough to handle but they're still warm on the outside, we're going to inject them with that jelly. And of course, sprinkle them liberally with the sugar. And do they look perfect? Absolutely not, but they taste great and they were super fun to make. So isn't that really the point of baking? It's what's on the inside that counts, right? But if you enjoyed this and you wanna bake along at home, I have the recipe online, including gluten-free and vegan options because everyone should be able to indulge on Fat Tuesday. Or if you watched this and thought, you know what, that is way too much work for some knockoff punchki, I don't blame you. So I have a list of a ton of local bakeries that are selling punchki for Fat Tuesday. All you have to do is go to our website right now, that's wtwell.com, and click on Go For One Night.